So before I review this book, let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you find it difficult to read a geotechnical book? Do you find it difficult to understand geotechnical engineering from a textbook? Do you want a simpler book which has a simpler language? Do you want a pictorial representation of the concepts of soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering? Or are you an undergraduate student? Are you a student who is pursuing civil engineering and is finding it difficult to choose from a wide range of geotechnical books? And if that is you, I have a solution for you. And this is solution to basic and applied soil mechanics from Gopal Ranjan and ESR Rao. And I recommend this book to all the undergraduate students who are studying B.Tech or B.E. in Civil Engineering and they find it difficult to understand geotechnical or the soil mechanics textbooks and if you see this textbook has a lot of pages it has almost 700 nearly 800 pages and this is a very old book written by a professor of IIT Roorke professors both are the professors of IIT Roorke then now coming to the contents of this book it covers each and everything it starts from the basics of soil mechanics then the classification of soil then the soil structure and clay minerals soil compaction principal stresses effective stresses permeability seepage vertical stress compressibility of soil consolidation stability of slopes shear strength of soils earth pressures and retaining walls shallow foundations deep foundations clay retaining walls pile foundations well foundation soil exploration machine foundations okay and etc etc this starts from basics of soil mechanics and covers the advanced concepts like the foundations so let me take you to this book and if you see here there are various diagrams given here there are equations which are clearly given derivations are very clear they are simple and straightforward as well and not just this many students what happens with many students is they find it difficult to understand the problems on these topics as well as the concepts where the concepts are given like this different states and at the box limits and the tests are also given here clearly and if I come to the problems like right, here are the solved examples and these solved examples cover each and every type of the questions which could be asked and which can be asked in your university exams these are very detailed solutions as you can see here with the diagrams phase diagrams etc etc and wherever the diagram or the graph is required okay they these are extensive examples 18 20 18 to 20 20 30 examples you have uh, after each unit after each or after each chapter okay this is how it is given all the graphs are given their detailed explanation detailed explanation of all the other concepts are also given also the reference a list of ex references is given and if you are interested to study these papers you can also study or if you are in if you are doing some project say your final year project or some minor project you can also refer this book and the papers given here as references and not just this after uh, say studying a topic if you want to practice questions on your own here are the questions which are given and if you just solve a couple of questions say one taking uh, one at a time randomly solving them you would clear all your concepts uh, of that particular topic or unit okay so this was all about this book i hope you liked the video and if 
and if your answer is yes please hit the like share and subscribe to my channel thank you